President Yoon suk yeol is in London for a state visit. South Korea and the UK are set to upgrade their relations where they expand high-tech cooperation and agree the first joint sanctions action against North Korea. Yoon's official engagements will begin on Tuesday. Our Oh Soo-young has the details. South Korea and the United Kingdom will upgrade their relations to a global strategic partnership upon President Yoon suk yeols state visit this week issuing high-tech areas of cooperation and the first joint sanctions action against North Korea's security threat. Yoon's office said Monday that Seoul and London will adopt the Downing Street Accord, setting out deeper cooperation in future trade and innovation upon 140 years of bilateral ties. Speaking to Korean expats at a banquet on Monday, shortly after touchdown, the South Korean leader hinted that the accord would expand cooperation in trade and cutting-edge sectors, as he stressed that the two countries are partners in the universal values of freedom, human rights and the rule of law. This includes agreements on strengthening supply chains and joint research in critical high-tech areas such as semiconductors, artificial intelligence and quantum technology as the two countries seek new growth engines and economic security amid trade and global uncertainties. The two countries also plan to strengthen their capabilities to respond to cyber threats by concluding a strategic cyber partnership, as well as expanding joint training and promoting joint maritime patrols to enforce UN Security Council sanctions against North Korea. This will be the first time that South Korea and the UK have performed joint operations to enforce sanctions on Pyongyang. The two countries will also pen a document on defence industry cooperation, space and clean energy. Furthermore, the Downing Street Accord will express their joint views on global affairs, including North Korea's nuclear threat, conflicts in the Middle East and Ukraine, and security in the Indo-Pacific. In addition, the two governments will agree to strengthen multilateralism and the rules-based international order through institutions like the UN Security Council, G20 and G7. President Yoon's state visit will mark another 100-year leap forward in bilateral ties, which have shown a history of deep cooperation and solidarity since the first Treaty of Amity in Commerce was signed in 1883. President Yoon's first official day of the visit begins on Tuesday. He and First Lady Kim gon will receive the full royal treatment, a guard of honour followed by a welcoming reception and lunch at Buckingham Palace. The first couple will also pay their respects to Korean war veterans and the grave of the unknown warrior at Westminster Abbey. While reflecting on the past, President Yoon will set out a more comprehensive future partnership between the two liberal democracies based on their shared values as he delivers a speech in English to members of both houses of parliament. His meeting with UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on Wednesday and various economic engagements, including a business forum and a roundtable of scientific minds, will put the future bilateral partnership into motion. Also Young, Arirang News, London.